Just booked a very last minute flight to LA. It leaves in about four hours. It's like 2 a.m. right now. Flight takes off at 6.30. Thankfully, the car plug can come through, so we're gonna have a few fun cars out there. This video should be interesting. Super last minute doing a couple meetings out there, so might just be there for the weekend. I don't know, I bought a one way. But I gotta pack, eat, and finish up some work and then get off to the airport, so I'm gonna catch you guys along the way. The weed delivery service. <laughs> There's a lot of shit to be done with that. Okay, we just got done grabbing some food. I know I haven't showed you guys the car yet. This is what I have for like the next 24 hours or so. Tomorrow we're switching it for a Maserati, which Gran Turismo MC, you guys are gonna see that, super sick. We actually, I'm with my buddy Ori from USC. We were just out test driving a Lamborghini Huracan, McLaren 675 LT Spider, and a McLaren 650S. So, looking at a few of those cars. Not gonna tell you what I'm gonna be getting. We'll see in the next few months, but it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be showing you guys some stuff. I'm actually out here to look at a new spot. So, we're trying to lock down uh, a first apartment, then I wanna get a house shortly thereafter, and then from there get a place in Miami. So, not sure what's gonna happen first. I'm kind of here to go look at something. Uh, in about four hours, we have a meeting in Hollywood, but we're gonna go back to you USC, get some work done because that's what it's all about. For those of you who like cars, it's an R8 Spider. It's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but it's fun. I like it just because it's a drop top, but unfortunately, if you look at the weather, it's just cloudy and it's actually been raining a little bit, so it looks sick in the reflection though. I will give it that, I'll give it that, but yeah, just enjoying this out here in Beverly Hills for a few days. Bought a one-way flight, so we'll see how this goes. My buddy Ori, like I told you, good, we're out here kicking it. And with that being said, I don't know where this is gonna go, just documenting the weekend. Nice squeaky brakes. Oh. But yeah, we'll pick up the camera wherever. And we made it to USC. Who likes a view of the R8 with the view of the city? My hair is all messed up from driving with the top down. I don't think I filmed that much. I did what I typically do and I tried to avoid filming it inside of these travel vlogs where it was constantly just me eating food. So I did eat food, I'm a food eater. But downtown LA is looking amazing from this rooftop. We're actually at USC right now. Finished up a meeting, went and looked at an apartment. Not sure if I'm gonna get it. It's just, I just, I don't want an apartment. Apartments are basic. I need a house or a penthouse. So something sick, I don't know what I'm looking for, but definitely want to get it going as fast as possible. So looking at that place is actually why I'm out here. And since that's not gonna happen, it's kind of, I don't want to stay all for nothing because we're doing some crazy stuff tomorrow. Uh, that's what this video is mostly gonna be focused on. I know I mentioned we drove the, we checked out the Lambos as well as the McLarens. We have another appointment at both those dealerships tomorrow morning. I'm switching this car for something else. So you guys are gonna see that. A lot of fun content that we're driving down to Orange County, I think inside of Newport and going to link up with a few other entrepreneurs to do some work, get some content, have some fun. So it's kind of fun. It's a V8, it's nothing crazy, but it does rip. I just like the fact that it's a drop top. I've never actually had a convertible like for more than an hour. So the fact that it's my rental for, well, full 24 hours, it's kind of fun, but I'm more excited for the car. Well, cars that are coming tomorrow. Other than that, you guys, you might have seen some cinematic B-roll. I'm definitely throwing an edit somewhere inside of this video. I don't know exactly what's going on, but this is me documenting my weekend in LA. Random trip, literally booked my flight, booked the car four hours before my flight took off. So that's how last minute it can be. I don't know, might catch you guys tonight. If not, I'm gonna see you in the morning with some dope content. Slight change of plans. Turns out we're actually going to pick up the Maserati right now because the plug is, actually they're not in LA, but they're in LA right now with the Maserati. So instead of Ubering an hour out of the way tomorrow, we're gonna do it right now. This is gonna be sick. You guys are gonna love this car. Put that spoiler up. <laughs> Damn right. Got you. All right, just switched with the R8. We've got Maserati Gran Turismo MC. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys the outside here in a second. All right, you guys ready for the official, he's got a weak key, Maserati needs to up it. You ready? Uh, uh, oh, I don't know what year, I'd guess, what do you think it is, Ori, 2015? 20, maybe 20, 14, 2015, yeah. 2015, we'll call it 2015 Gran Turismo MC. 
It's actually, we gotta talk to the plug about this. It's not in proper rental condition right now, but it's still sick. It sounds insane. Yo, should we give him a quick rev? We'll give him a quick rev. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, it's the morning. It's like 10 a.m. here with the boy Ori. We are headed off to the dealerships. This is gonna be the fun, one of the fun parts of this video. Headed off to go test drive a few fun cars. We got this Maserati. I know you guys saw it in the last clip from last night. Let me open it up for you. This thing, hint, hint, might actually be getting traded in in a few hours for something other than this. Also red, something also red, just to say the least. So we are running through cars like it's nobody's business. Look at this, first of all. This is an MC Sport line. This thing's got just an insane amount of carbon fiber. This thing's a beast. So we're gonna be driving this up to Beverly Hills. You guys are gonna see a couple of cars. Obviously, I'm not gonna film while test driving, but yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing that. And then from there, we're heading down to OC, linking up with, honestly, I don't even know who, but ton of different entrepreneurs to get some content, so that should be fun. Stay tuned. All right, we got Ori and the boy in the Maserati. Slide through. We're out here at McLaren. I just drove the 570S. About to drive the 675 LT, so this should be a lot of fun. Ah, oh, tough comparison. Lambo versus McLaren. Very different cars. I say I need both, but look at all these. Hey. I love cars. Oh, I think he just started it up. Yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing just all cars. That's what this is. Getting a lot of different cars. Might be picking up another car in exchange for the Maserati uh, in a few hours. So we'll see about that. Then heading down to Orange County. Still haven't eaten, still haven't uploaded my YouTube video, so gotta go back to USC to do that. Whew, a lot to get done, but... Oh, they're ripping in the... <laughs> but I love cars, it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna catch you guys wherever this takes us. This is where we're about to drive. It's scraping. Okay. Just parked the car. Now, we are about to be bougie. If you guys follow me on any social media, you know that I eat out a lot and like food. So, we're gonna show you that. Okay, we just finished up at Chipotle. Let's take a second to admire how beautiful it is out here. Look at that. You got the Beverly Hills sign, going into Beverly Hills, classic row of palm trees, and paid parking that's always too expensive. So, that's LA for you. Finally a sunny day, finally. But I'm uh, hopefully switching out cars soon. Wow, it's very bright. I left my sunglasses at home. Uh, but yeah, should be getting some content. You guys will see a ton of different people, different cars, a lot of fun stuff. Even right here, casual, Maserati. Boom. But yeah, other than that, we'll see where this takes us. Sport. Always. As a typical rental, plenty of warning lights pop up. But we don't care because it's a rental. <laughs> Let me show you my favorite part of LA. Oh, this is just the best. LA traffic is not a myth. Whoa, why am I so dark? LA traffic is not a myth, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that bad. You just gotta know when to drive, but we're heading out into the middle of nowhere to the warehouse to pick up a new car. So this should be fun upgrading from this Maserati to get a little bit of content. So this is squeaky brakes. I don't know if you can hear it. Very, very annoying, especially in traffic. But yeah, this should be interesting. You guys are gonna see a few familiar people. Why am I so dark again? You're gonna see a few familiar people, familiar cars, and hopefully meet some new people as well. So, with that being said, I don't even know. This kind of jumping all over. Um, I'm trying to set up some more appointments to look at a few houses, but I'm just out here. I don't want to say relaxing, but I'm focused on the bigger picture. I got everything done that I needed to do, like, you know, my YouTube videos, a little bit of work with, like, e-com, lining up the ads. I have the VAs in place. Business partner understands I'm kind of chilling. So three days, just kind of focused on the bigger picture, content for the future. So you guys are going to see a lot of stuff coming, spending some money right now, having some fun. So that's what it's all about. But I'm going to pick it up once I'm in this warehouse. Hopefully there'll be a, a few fun cars there.
All right, you guys, I'm down in Santa Ana. We got <laughs> the 458 Italia for the next day or so, who really knows? This thing is insane. You should hear the backfires when I downshift, oh my God. On a side note, I know you guys want me to talk a lot about taxes and stuff. I'm not a CPA, I'm not a tax person. I don't give you advice. All I know is this is a tax write-off, so <laughs> I'm gonna do it. With that being said though, on the end of tax things, if you guys are starting to make some money or whatever, invest in hiring a good CPA, accountant team, whoever, you know, get QuickBooks and hire a person to kind of manage all your bookkeeping stuff. Because trust me, there are so many little hacks that I don't even know. Stuff that I'm starting to do and stuff that you can do if you're making money. This is not for just anyone just starting out. But, you know, realistically, once you start making a few thousand a month, start talking to those people and figuring out, you know, CPA and all these different things because they can really help you leverage that. Like, I mean, I would have had to pay this to the government. I'd rather rip around a Ferrari. Obviously, it's not exactly like that, but there's little things you can do, especially when you own your own business that can be a huge advantage. And obviously, there's downsides too. But I'm about to be getting a few uh, shots with this car, pictures, whatever, Instagram ads. You guys might be seeing that here. It's a rental. Oh, my God. This thing's actually insane, though. I'm definitely gonna put in some rolling clips and whatnot, so you guys might be seeing that cold start, whatever. I'm gonna have it until tomorrow, so definitely gonna have some fun down here in Orange County. Okay, we're down in Santa Ana now, and I want to introduce you guys to someone special. Say hello to Seppi. Hey, bud. Hey, everyone follow him on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Seppi. Yeah, he, he's gone. Yeah, Seppi here is a French lilac bulldog. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, Colt. Now, the real question that some people might not believe. How much? Where'd he go? How much did you pay for Seppi? $15,000. <laughs> this man paid 15 racks for a dog. Hey, worth every penny though. What's up, buddy? Look at <laughs> this guy. No way. He's just chilling. I already know, got the Yeezys, my boy Flex and the Gucci, oh my gosh. Bomb in the denim, but. So, so, this is for the Oh, 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 okay. Some new rings. Versace, baby. Versace way, okay. I see that. Now, as always, oh, careful, Seppi. We're gonna go get some food. Uh, we might be ripping down Newport Coast later with a few other people and some fun cars, so. Definitely gonna go over my allotted mile rentage, but hey. That's okay, we're gonna grab some pizza or something, but I guess we'll catch you guys there. Pizza time with the man Cole. Hey, this car is super, super quiet because it's a Ferrari until you hit like 3,500 RPMs. Like, listen to this, you can't even hear it right now. I'll give you guys a little demonstration. Ready, you can't hear it? Ready, I punch it. already know valet just to get some pizza boom boom all right well we actually tried to get some steak and now we got to get the car back because there was an hour long wait hour and a half not doing that we got to go find something else on a side note look at this lineup we got the ferrari the bentley the rolls audi mercedes they keep all the nice stuff up front yes yeah, so we were trying to go get some steak but hey they didn't have any openings so i guess we're settling for the consistent and as always fast food and pizza Boom, now we're talking. Get some pizza. That was some pretty damn good pizza.
accepting more people into the Facebook group. You guys, this is the key for drop shipping right here. Almost as much as this little guy. Buddy, Seppi, say hi. What's up? Yep, he's just chilling while we work. A lot of you guys want to join. And this approve all button never works, ever. Approve 205, let me hit approve again. 205, yeah, see, oh, wait, now it's working. Of course it works once I put it on camera. You guys are crazy, I appreciate all the support, all the videos in the group, everybody throwing value. We got Seppi just chilling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> get some work done, you guys. Have fun, but get some work done. Well, it's about 5.30 a.m. We are going to do a few things. Mainly get some content with this and then switch this out for another car, so. I'll give you guys a quick cold start here. We are switching out the cars out here at the warehouse, but they got a few crazy things inside of here. We're gonna check out the inside. <laughs> does it come with the driver when I rent it? Yeah, it does. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they normally have like 10 cars. There's only a few in the fleet. We're taking the R8 today. Huracan's going back out. Little dirt bike. Oh, that looks luxurious. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is sick. All right, well, we're gonna be wrapping the R8. They're doing that, what, this week? Thursday. Thursday. He said I get to choose the color. <laughs> Ooh, tough choice. Comment below what you guys think we should wrap it. It's got a, I'm thinking something matte, maybe matte red, matte blue, matte forest green. Ooh, that's tough. All right, well, we just dropped off 458. He pulled up casually in the I8. But yeah, I'm gonna head back down to Orange County, and we shall see where the day takes us from there. So I'll catch you on the flip side, as the young hipsters would say. Woo! Cold looking fly out here. We got the R about to drop the top, get some food, maybe head off to Newport, we'll see. It's all about the content. It's always about these low key tunnel runs. Look at this tunnel right here. We just got flexed on a V10 convertible. It just pulled up. This is a V8. Oh no. Oh, it's race time with the underpass. Uh oh. We're about to go grab some food or something. We're right by the beach. Oh, yeah, dude, let's go rip out some jet skis. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, got the McLaren dealership. Oh, McLaren. I drove a few McLaren's. You guys saw that earlier in the video. Oh, it's my yachts. Yachts. Look at those houses up there. I've been in that mansion up there. Oh. Water's right there. right there. Catch you guys once we get some food. We're out at Fashion Island. There are crazy cars. Got the Mama Wagon Ferrari. There's a Huracan over there, M4s, plural. Got G-Wagons, Maserati, Porsche, everything. We're gonna go get some food, do some shopping. You picking up some Gucci, I heard. No, I'm not. Some white Gucci no. shoes? No, we need mess our money, we don't spend it. <laughs> Invest into the Gucci, bro. I'm gonna teach you one day. I'm gonna teach you. Not just kidding. But yeah, we're gonna get some food, have some fun. It is absolutely gorgeous here. I might just move to Newport. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, we just ordered some food for Kings. Is that Fendi? Fendi. I got the Gucci. I'm excited for this meal. It's gonna be really good. We're like half outside, half inside. Damn, Newport's the place, my man. He used to live around here. This is amazing, so beautiful. All right, we're gonna get my take as well as Colt's take here on a quick question that I've been not necessarily getting, but something I know will help a lot of you. If you don't know what to do, maybe there's a lot of different things, you know, businesses, drop shipping, whatever, trading currency, if you wanna start a robot company, it doesn't matter. If you don't know fully what you wanna do and you're not 100% committed to it, Colt, we're gonna start with you. What do you think they should do if you don't know 100% what you wanna do yet? 
definitely doing research. I feel like a lot of people want to know about how they can make money, how they can do certain things in their life, but they're not willing to commit to it and do the research. They will not take the education that is handed to them and they'll just basically waste it. So I feel like a lot of people are not taking the full responsibility within themselves to go and take action and look and find out how to do it the correct way. People are basically, you want to be real, people are lazy in today's generation. So. Definitely find out the right information that you need to get started in whatever niche you want to do. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. There's a lot of people who start whatever, you know, he trades the markets a lot with currency and whatnot. So it's, it's the same thing with dropshipping. People jump in and like, oh, a lot of kids making a lot of money. It's, it's not that easy. Nothing's going to be that easy. You know, I thought, oh, buy a house. It's going to go up in value. It could. <laughs> it's not necessarily that easy. There's a lot of different businesses and stuff. So. Pick one thing, focus on it, do your research in advance, weigh the pros and cons. Like I personally, I like to literally get out a physical pen and paper and write down that list. You know, put a line down the middle, pros and cons, go through and just kind of outline what you think for your situation is gonna be the best. And then start with it, just be committed though. One thing, don't be jumping around. So that's a quick little tip for the day. We're gonna get this, uh, get this food here shortly. I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second. Put some of the cheese on there. What's that right there? Bruschetta. How is it called? Oh, yeah. All right, we are in Newport Beach up along the coast. There's the amazing beach there. Um, just ripped this huge road down and back that overlooks all this canyon, all these beautiful houses up there. Actually, if you guys know some of the YouTubers, the Face House is up over there, Pelican Bay, Newport Coast. Beautiful area. Look at that, just views down to the ocean. Everybody just rips these roads. It's, it's insane. So many cars, Manny Koshman, if you guys know any of these entrepreneurs, just killing it out here. Massive underground garage, like Bugatti, what does he have, P1, all these, Lyra, everything, if you guys are car people, but this is the place to drive, if you like, oh, if you like roads. I might need to get a place in Orange County. But yeah, it's very, very bright out. I just can't get over this view. I mean, look at that. If you guys can see that really well, it's just unreal. Stuff's crazy, you guys, literally. If you're working towards something, just keep doing it because it's worth it. I'm not anywhere near anywhere, but it's worth it. I already know that for a fact. Uh, we got a Porsche behind us. everyone we are waking up down in Newport got a hotel for the night it's actually pretty nice but whew, today's gonna be an interesting day it's very actually it's not too too early I've been up working for about two and a half hours so I did get up pretty early not a lot of sleep the last few nights but hey it's what it is it's what I do need to go get a haircut though that's that might be on the bucket list for today I do not know when I'm heading out I know you guys already know this is a last minute trip I book one way so this should be really interesting I'm supposed to give the car back uh, actually, we're supposed to give it back last night, um, so this should be really interesting to see what happens. About to be going to link up with a few other entrepreneurs here in, I'd say, the next couple hours or so. Definitely gonna bring you guys along for that, film some content, maybe some YouTube videos, some ads you guys might be seeing, uh, Instagram pictures, everything. Other than that, I do want to point out the fact that I ate Jersey Mike's. Well, this is a drink. I drank the drink. I ate the sandwich last night. Whoo! First time ever eating that, oh, <laughs> so good. Subway doesn't even compare. Aside from that, you guys, we did blow right past, if you guys can see here, uh, let it focus, 32,100 subs. You guys are crazy. The growth has been dope. I do appreciate all the support on every single video. Nothing but love to all you guys subscribing. Now, other than that, I'm gonna work for about the next two hours and pick this up when I'm on my way down to, I guess, towards Irvine, heading inland a little bit. Uh, to go link up with some people. Might be a Lambo, might be two Lambos, GTR, who knows? You guys are gonna be seeing that real shortly. See you there. Okay. <laughs> I something, We set up this, uh, closing malls. Out here, nice little penthouse in Orange County. This is actually a massive balcony. Oh, it's bright. But yeah, up here, with Josh and Jeff and a few other people getting some content doing some work about to go look at a house I don't know if I can show you this I'm gonna show you a quick very very brief snippet this is a house I want to get down in Newport wow it's very very bright but um yeah I'm liking 
liking the weather out here. So I decided to book a few more days at my place, a few more days with the car, and we'll, uh, we'll see where it goes. But yeah, check out this house. I'm gonna show you guys very, very briefly, very briefly a half a second preview. So let me know what you guys think. Not gonna show you guys too much, but, and we're on the water here. Can't really show you guys, we'll see what happens, but there's your quick little snippet. The backyard is a tropical resort. That's all you guys are getting. One session. Just keep ripping. That's a cop, that's a cop, that's a cop, 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 right in front of us, cop. That's a cop in front of us. Oh shit. Yo, I saved your fucking life. Oh my god, yo, take this, take this next exit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Get to the right. Fuck that. Okay, for those who didn't catch what just happened, we're flying, definitely just doing the speed limit. <laughs> Lane split and there's a cop. I see the reflected yellow tape, that's how I saw it. I'm like, yo, yo, cop in front of his cop. No, he'll left, he'll left. Dude, oh my god. He this almost just- got a fast. <laughs> What's good, everyone? We are enjoying the hot tub. I'll just do a vlog on yours and I, you can do it, take it out. We got Abdul, he forgot his vlog camera. Starting his channel. Yeah, he thinks he's gonna make it big. Nope. You ain't riding he, this he's wave. He's getting scared because I'm coming for him. <laughs> I'm about to push him out the way. Hey. 10 subscribers. Oh, we got a little battery light. It's whatever. Yeah, actually. Switch the topic. I'm gonna take the opportunity here to pause this $400 speaker that we just bought, which we're gonna return. We just got it because the Audi doesn't have Bluetooth for music. Yes. All right, well, anyways, I wanna take this opportunity to ask Abdul, who for those of you who don't know, it does a little bit of e-commerce now, primarily Facebook ads for social media marketing for his clients. Abdul, <gasps> if someone were to want, <laughs> if someone were to want to do what you do, anything to do with social media marketing, I guess not e-commerce, but Facebook ads, what's something they should focus on? Just Facebook, you know, let's keep it on Facebook ads. I know a lot of people here are trying to. Focus on? Yeah, Facebook with what? ads. With what, Facebook ads Facebook with what? Facebook ads. Facebook ads with what though? That, that. Let's go with, you know, touch on both social media marketing and drop shipping, because I know that's what you're talking about. So for drop shipping, I think everyone tells you this information. My biggest thing for me is you do not, you can't start off with like 10 bucks. For me, at least it was, because when I get data, when I start my campaigns, I start with like $20, $30. Um, and I keep for like one or two days to see the audience voice. I don't want to waste time wasting like three or four days starting at 10 bucks. Yeah. So I would say the biggest thing is getting data for your pixel. Because once you get your pixel, it's history after that. Once you get all the data and it's, they ask like, when is your, the biggest question too is like, when is your pixel matured? Am I right? Like yeah. everyone always I mean, asks never technically like, is, is a lot. Look, the people who are gonna die in drop screen are the small people who don't have a pixel. All the big dogs who have a pixel yeah. in a niche are they're set forever, they're good. Exactly, and then they're asked like, oh, how do I know it's like good, like strong, like do lookalikes? And I think my general rule is you gotta have at least 1,000, 2,000, uh, I say 2,000 view content. You gotta have at least add to cart around 500 to 700, and you gotta have at least five, uh, 250 to 500 purchases. I think that's a really good pixel. Yeah, it's a good season pixel. All right, now before this battery dies, quick thing: what about for social media marketing? What's been working best for you? If you social wanna, media marketing. If you want to share, I know he has a couple of tactics that I know. I don't know if you want to share, but social media marketing. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. My biggest, one of my biggest is use blogs. Use blogs. Definitely use blogs. Leverage yep. blogs. If you don't know how to do it. Research, research until I release it out to Yeah, he drives that traffic to a blog, then retargets them. They're already, you know, yes, familiar sir. with what's going on. Retargeting is very cheap, cool. too. Yeah, you just heard it from the man. Hey, hot tub talk. <laughs> All right, you guys, I didn't want to show you too much of that house. Can't spoil the secret. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. You know, you guys are definitely going to be seeing some content real soon based around that. Uh, I'm going to end off this video. I don't know how long I'm going to be in California. You guys have seen the evolution of this throughout this video. They probably just jumped around to a lot of random stuff. But as I you know, normally do when I travel, I want to just film it randomly and pick up the camera, document that, and show you what's going on. So 
definitely be seeing more videos about me out here in Cali in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. I do appreciate all the support on every single video. I do want to say that we're at over 32,000 subs right now. It's absolutely insane. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And of course, one favor I'm going to ask you this video. If you haven't already, be sure to join the family by hitting that nice like and subscribe button. And I post every single day. I'm going to be seeing you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace.